We're going to have a look at a data log of a 2.5 uh, Volkswagen T5 uh, 2005 model, which is the AXD engine, and it's got a GT uh, 1749 turbo. And what the agents do, they do a full data log, which we can see here, uh, and these are sent to me to analyse before we do any tuning. Uh, one of the most important things we've got to check is the turbo control. So we've got a request induced pressure, which the ECU asks for. And then we've got as actual boost pressure, what's, uh, what's measured through the MAP sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor. And then obviously we've got as engine RPM from 700 RPM up to 4200. And then we've got a duty cycle of the variable vane position. So we can start looking down. Uh, we get a boost spike, which is reading over the map sensor. So it's going over 1.6 bar when it should only be 1.3 bar at 1800 RPM. And then the uh, N75 will pull the variable vanes back and it does drop down a little bit. Then we get into the 2300 rpm 2200 rpm we start getting boost by again but uh, it's major gone over and the the turbo variable vane can't control it uh, the ECU is trying to open the variable vanes fully 4.7s fully opened or that's what the ECU thinks the variable vanes are fully open it's trying to get this boost pressure down which is over 1.6 bar uh, these map sensors on these are only calibrated to read 2601 which is 1.6 bar uh, it could be making 1.7 it could be making 1.8 we don't know because it's not it, it's not being measured uh, the ECU is a standard vehicle that's requesting 1.3 bar so we're making way over 0.3 of a bar boost or a boost uh, I'm surprised this vehicle's not gone into limp mode as well uh, so this is what agent's done. Now I have a, I have a look over it, I analyse it, and I get in touch with the agent and explain what the problem is. Uh, we can see it a bit more clearly on this graph here. The blue line is the ECU requested boost. The grey line is the engine RPM. And then the red line is the boost pressure that's been measured through the map sensor. You can see the boost spike at start, it drops down a bit, and then we just all the boost all the way along again this should go into limp mode really uh, so that's what we do we analyze all data logs both before and also after we've tuned them these data logs are also stored so for any vehicle we've done uh, we can pull a data log up uh, up on the registration uh, both the standard data log and also the tuned data log